So what was the data being collected by Voltrakis? Well, it included information about a person's device, like the browser being used, and the device's operating system. This information may seem kind of like, so what? But it can be used to do what's called device fingerprinting. What? This is a... What's fingerprinting? Digital WTF fingerprinting. Here's device fingerprinting. The cookie is the best known method for identifying and tracking people online, but it's not the only one. For years, device fingerprinting has gone somewhat under the radar as a more surreptitious alternative to the cookie. Yeah, no kidding. After the data is collected, Voldrakis's code tucks it into a fake consent string that disguises the data, turning the consent string into basically a Trojan horse for the collected data. Oh, that's a new trick. I'm learning so much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what's the matter? Oh yeah, code red. We have a user who's becoming software aware. Okay, settle down. What are they becoming aware of? Sorry, first day on the job. The alert code says fingerprinting. Shit. Boss, are we collecting people's fingerprints? No, nothing like that. Well, not that exactly. Okay, good, I was worried. So what's fingerprinting? When we're not able to receive an identifier like an email address or drop a third party cookie to track a user online, we fingerprint them. But you said- We don't collect their actual fingerprints. Each time someone visits a website, there's a set of information that needs to be collected in order to make sure that the web page and all of its contents, including the ads, load properly. You can view this information using the developer tools in any browser. Standard information like what? The device's operating system, the browser being used, the version of the browser being used, its preferred language, its time zone. Oh, this all seems pretty harmless. I don't get how any of this could be used to ID someone. Like, couldn't there be thousands, if not millions of people who are using Mac OS X, uh, Safari, this version of Safari, the English language, and the Pacific time zone? You would think so, but here, check the link I just sent you. Am I unique dot org? Are you unique? Uh, am I? Yes. You are unique among the 1,004,446 fingerprints in our entire data set. Oh my gosh. Now you see. And that's not all. We can also collect information like IP addresses, so then we can fingerprint one device and use the IP address to ID any other device that connects to that same IP address, like a person's computer or their connected TV. Oh no. Oh yes. And here's the best part. Even if people were aware that this is happening, it's hard for them to prevent us from gathering this information because it's necessary for websites to operate properly. And website operators may not even realize what we're able to do with the information that they're passing to us. No, oh, boss, the, the link that you sent, and please remember, this is my first day on the job. The link that you sent, I accidentally sent it to the user. You what? What the f 